Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, Oxhead Magic, Jordan here, and uh, oh boy do I have something special in line today. Um, I got, managed to get my hands on one of these bad boys from, as a leftover from the pre-release. So, I am going to crack it for the channel. Now, hello Stevie, thank you for coming and joining us. And, Helping out with this. So what we're gonna do is crack open this bad boy. We'll see what promos we get and stuff like that. So it's mainly a cracker pack vid. But not only that, I'm then gonna do a little bonus vid afterwards for what seal pool I would build for this. Because I've already done a video on how to build a seal deck. So don't feel I need to do one just yet. Another one just yet. So we'll crack on. So Stevie, I assume, is gonna help me or hinder. Probably the latter, and we'll go from there. <laughs> so. In the uh, pre-release packs, now you get standard die, uh, building instructions, divider, and oh, sweet. So our uh, foil timestamp promo that you get, which can be mythic or rare, uh, we got the off of the journey, which is very sweet. I'm pretty sure uh, our very very good friend Adam might be interested in this. So we'll just keep that to the side <laughs> in the packaging idea. Uh, with this one, last set we got like a little build on top. So this is sort of like a little decal that you can fit onto windows, etc. And then you get six boosters in a sealed in the seal pack. In this case, because it's the second set, we get four Ether Revolt and two of the first set, which is Kaladesh. So let's get pack. Let's get cracking into packs. So we're going to start off with Kaladesh first. Because, well, we've all seen Kaladesh, we know all the rares and mythics and where they are and how unpopular they are, so we're going to go from there. So let's just get straight to the rare for the Kaladesh ones. We have Lath New Helion, 2 in red creature, Helion 4 4. And it's about to get 2 energy, has haste, and then at the end step you have to sacrifice it unless you pay 2 energy. So it's a recurring trigger. So that's the first rare. The second Kaladesh pack. Is let's see what we get. There you go, Stevie's now happy, you know, has a booster pack to play with. We have Ovaya Pashiri. So I think that's how I pronounce it correctly. Ovaya Pashiri, Sage Life Crafter, one green mana, human art legendary creature, human artificer. She's a one two and you can pay Two in a green, tap and you create a 1-1 one, one servo. Or you can pay four in a green, you tap and you create an XX colorless construct artifact, creature token, where X is the number of creatures you control at that point. So, oh, and we got a Dovin emblem. So, right, now we get to the interesting bit. So, for the Aoife Revolt, I'll go through the uncommons as well as the rares. So, let's see what we get. Never know, we might crack open an invention. I doubt it though. <laughs> Don't have to be that lucky. So, let's go through the commons. Right, so, to start off, we have Lifecraft and Awakening, the X and Green instant for X11 counters on target creature, uh, no, on target artifact you control. If it isn't a creature or a vehicle, it becomes a 0 0 construct artifact creature. So, it basically makes your artifacts walking, walking giants. Not too bad. The next uncommon, we have Servo Schematic, 2 mana artifact, in the battlefield or it's put into the graveyard to create a 1 1 servo. Foundry Hornet, for 3 and a, three and a black, it's an insect, it's a 2 3 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, creatures your opponents control get minus 1, minus 1 until the end of turn. So it's a decent sort of after combat trigger sort of thing. And our first rare. For Aether Revolt is Ether Tide Whale, which is 4 and 2 blue. It's, it's a whale with flying, it's a 6 4. When it enters the battlefield, you get 6 energy, and you may prepare 4 energy to return it to its owner's hand. So it's always going to leave you 2 energy up. So theoretically, if you can keep casting this, it keeps you on the uh, energy game quite nicely. And oh, we have a foil, and our foil is. Respect up on the street. 
Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I take back what I said. Uh, we've cracked open an oblivion stone. Wow! So it's a three mana artifact. You can pay four and tap it and put a fake counter on target permanent. Or you can pay five, tap it, and then sacrifice the oblivion stone and destroy each non land permanent without a fake counter on it. Then <laughs> remove all fair counters from all permanents. Wow. Oh my god. That is amazing. I need a sleeve. <laughs> I, I haven't got a sleeve. Why do, oh, why do I never have sleeves nearby when I need them? God. Oh, right. So. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just keep that in a nice pile there and sweet. Right. Okay, so that was an amazing pack. Well, we're not going to outdo that one. There we go. Right, it's all downhill here from ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest. So, <laughs> so let's see what we get. Oh my god. That is so good. Why couldn't I have this pack of my pre release? This would have been wicked. Oh. Right. Uh, second pack then. More fish revolutionaries. The first one common. It's for one and two green. Human warrior with trample, and it's a 3 3. When it enters the battlefield or it dies, for each kind of counter on target permanent or player, give that permanent or player another kind of that counter. So if you're in the 1-1 one, one counter strategy and you're, you're buffing all your creatures, this increases all them. It increases your energy as well by 1. If you've got the uh, Constrictor out, that'll increase it by 2 hopefully, I believe. Oh no, that only works on creatures, but yeah, but it works on creatures which is rather sweet. So yeah, so that's the first one. Crackdown Construct, four mana artifact creature. It's a two-two, and when you view activate an ability of an artifact or a creature that is not a mana ability, Crackdown Construct gets a plus one plus one until the end of turn. This is currently being brewed with with um, Wandering Fumeral to because uh, Wandering Fumeral has the ability that when you make it a man land. So when it becomes a man line, it's a 1-4, but it has a 0 mana ability to switch its power and toughness to make it a 4-1 instead. So theoretically, you make it a man land and then you can just start generating, making this thing infinitely big and swinging turn 5. If you can give it trample, or you can fling it, because this is colourless, so you can use Barrage Tyrant to fling it, fling it at your opponent, you can win the game. Rather sweet brew, look forward to building it. Oh, we got another four in this pack, sweet. Uh, Skyship Plunderer. It's one and a blue, a human pirate. It's two, one with flying. When it deals combat damage to a player, for each kind of counter on a target permanent or player, give that permanent or player another kind of counter. So again, another energy generation, another one, one counter strategy. It's got lots of, lots of potential. It is rather good. Oh, right. And our rare is Yeheni's Expertise, which is a... Sorcery speed, two and two black. All creatures get minus three, minus three until the end of the turn, and then you may cast a, a card with converted mana cost three or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. The benefit is with all the expertise is that you can um, you can sack, uh, sorry, not sack. You can cast all the legendary creatures associated with their relevant expertise, which is rather sweet. So it's something I do enjoy doing. But yeah, uh, definitely a good card. Not bad. Oh no, we didn't get a foil. It was the energy counter. That's what it was. It was confusing me. Yes. Yeah, so as you see, we now get energy counters in these ones. Obviously, they were turning up in the uh, some of the older packs of the um, Efer of, of uh, Kaladesh on the second set, second like big release. But yeah, but yeah, they're quite nice. They're quite nice. Some other companies have done some uh, random ones. I got, I ordered some cards from a, a random, a random store, and they gave me an energy counter, which was. Beautifully designed and stunning. So I think of the guy who owns a store does his own design. Right. So third pack, we have Gonti's Ma Machinations. It's a one bl one black mana enchantment. And whenever you lose life for the first time each turn, you get one energy. You may then pay two energy and sacrifice the enchantment. Each opponent loses three life, and you gain life equal to the life lost this way. So in Two the Giant, this is fantastic. In Commander, this is insane as well. So definitely something, um, it's definitely a good energy energy producer. Even in standard, I think this is quite good. Okay, Consulate Dreadnought. A one mana artifact vehicle. It's a 7-11. <laughs> always open. Always open, as they say in America. 
and it has a crew ability of 6. Now, it's steep, it's obviously cheap to play, it's steep for its mana cost, it dies to Fatal Push, so you never have to worry about it, but crew 6 hard, but then again, if you can get in with the aerial modification or the siege modification, this thing gets a bit ridiculous very quickly, so definitely one to keep an eye on, see if that turns up somewhere. Oh, speaking of which, Fatal Push! A one black mana instant. Destroy target creature if it has converted mana cost two or less. And then if revolt's been triggered, which is i.e. a permanent has left your has left the battlefield under your control, you can then uh, destroy a creature that has mana cost four or less. So it's rather sweet that. Definitely a good card. And the rare is Quick Smith Rebel. Uh, it's three and a red. It's human artificer with three two. And when it ends the battlefield, target artifact you control gains tap and deal two damage to target creature or player. So basically, you can get unlimited shocks, which is rather sweet. But obviously, when the quicksmith dies or you lose control of him, you lose the ability. Okay, and oh, this one has got a foil, so I've got this right. And our foil is foil renegade map. <laughs> oh, how disappointing you are in comparison to the first pack. Um, Renegade map is the one mana artifact, the end is a battlefield tap and you can sack it and it will search your library for a basic land reveal and put it into your hand and then shuffle your library. So it's a good way of triggering revolt which is rather cool. And we have the beautiful gremlin token, 2-2 two -two gremlin tokens. It, it does look like a cat, in fact it's pretty much a bold stevie actually, which is rather sweet. Right, and we have the last pack. It's another Ajani pack. I doubt it's going to be as good as the first Ajani pack, but you never know. We could get lucky. So, let's skip through the comments. Right. Bam. So, the first uncommon is Restoration Specialist. It's one and a white. It's a Dwarf Artificer, and it's a 2 1. You can pay a white and sack it and return to one target artifact and one target enchantment from the graveyard to your hand. This with new Saram. Is fantastic because Saram draws your cards off enchantments, especially or sorry, off enchantment auras. But definitely sort of worth playing, I think. Then we have Rogue Refiner, which is one a green and a blue. It's a human rogue, and it's a three-two. When he enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you get two energy. Good energy generation in the blue-green, not too bad. Then we have next uncommon, last one is Trophy Mage, two and a blue. Human Wizard, it's 2-2, two, two, and when it ends the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost 3. So exactly 3, not 3 or more, 3 or less, it's 3. You reveal it and put it into your hand, and then you get to shuffle your library. Yeah, it's quite decent, you can go searching. If you've got artifacts that are exactly 3, I mean, the Ether Harvester now comes to mind. That's the, of the new flying vehicle, that's a 3-5, that's rather decent. But yeah, it does, it does the job quite nicely. So, and our uh, rare is... Oh, sweet! Heroic Intervention! It's one and a green, it's an instant, and permanent you control game, hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. Um, I like this card. In fact, I'm brewing with this for modern at the moment. So it's definitely something. Obviously, this says all permanent. This will affect Planeswalkers and make them indestructible. However, Planeswalkers lose loyalty counters from receiving um, when they take hits. So it doesn't actually save Planeswalkers, but it saves all your other permanents, which is rather sweet. And that's it, guys. So we got another energy counter and another plants. And so we'll just go over what we got in terms of rares from the seal pact. Obviously, we have the timestamp promo, which was off of the journey, which is very sweet. We then have Heroic Intervention, the Quicksmith Rebel, Yehenny's Expertise, Oblivion Stone, which I'm very happy with, Ifatai Whale, of Ovaya Pashiri, Sage Lifecrafter, and Laugh New Helion. So yeah, so definitely a good pull, guys. Um, as I said, I'm going to do a bonus video on what sort of seal pool I would build from this deck. So stay tuned for that. That's up and coming. And uh, yeah, catch you later, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.